Hey everyone, welcome back to the Table Bucks Gearbox. And today I'm going to show you my REC Custom Shop Lord of the Rings themed Leong Ma Field Duty 2.0. What does it have in its pockets? It has this. Thanks for joining me. I'm Lyle and I'm so dang excited about this uh, because I'm a huge Lord of the Rings geek. Um, big fan. I've read and reread the books since I was a kid. I think I'm on my fifth playthrough of the audiobooks right now. I've loved the movies and of course if you've seen my channel I'm a huge knife geek as well so please if you enjoy this content I'd love for you to like and subscribe to the Gearbox. I have affiliate links below to River's Edge Cutlery. Those are my friends and also to Amazon if that's convenient and I even have a Patreon. Thanks. So a while back, I approached Eric B. at River's Edge Cutlery with a knife. I was thinking about trading in, and it's not because I didn't like the knife. I liked it just fine. I was just thinking about getting something else. In context, I live about an hour away, and I work about five minutes away from the shop. So I get to talk to them a lot, discuss, you know, plans and ideas, get creative with, with Eric especially. Uh, so we got to talking, and I mentioned that, you know, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, and this knife would match up well with Lord of the Rings theme, I thought, you know, get a new paint job with their Cerakote process and bring it kind of back to life for me. This was back when their books for Cerakote work were open. They're not currently more about that later. And he agreed that that would be really cool. I told him to keep it as long as he needed. Uh, as we worked on the ideas for the theme, I sent him pictures. He sent me pictures. We kind of just talked for a very long time. After many iterations, we settled on the idea of the Fellowship of the Ring silhouette, which you see obviously right here. So he went about making a custom template and just last week surprised me with, hey, Lyle, I think it's done. I think it's good. Come check it out. I did. And I was floored. And here it is. This is a Leong Ma Field Duty 2.0 that I bought years ago, maybe three years ago. Um, they were still in the old shop when I bought it at River's Edge Cutlery. And Eric has given it a huge breath of fresh air with this amazing custom Cerakote and vapor honing treatment. While I show off the knife, I'll give you a rundown of the customization. He vapor honed the M390 blade and made it look really clean, giving it this kind of smooth gray non-reflective tone. The custom Cerakote colors are Armor Black, Keltec Navy Blue, and Northern Lights. The Fellowship and the Mountain Scenes were made from custom vinyl stencils and through a process of spraying and stenciling and baking and then peeling off the stencils over and over again we have this finished product. He also treated the hardware separately which just adds a beautiful touch in the details, the backspacer and all that stuff. So very cool. As for the knife, I wasn't making as many knife videos back then, and so I don't remember if I made an overview of this one. Maybe I did, but I just don't remember. It's the Leon Ma Field Duty 2.0. Man, this thing is an enormously beefy but slicey knife design, that's why I liked it. Uh, since Leon Ma comes from the chef world, there's this uh, you know food prep influence. It's this huge belly on here, and I've used it for that uh, actually out in the woods. And it's just an absolute brute of a knife. It's a big knife, and we're gonna do a few brief size comparisons so I can show you just how big this thing is. All right, so. Uh, uh, let's do some of those size comparisons here. It's a big knife, so I'm going to put it up next to some other big knives that you might be familiar with. There's the Manix 2 from Spyderco. That's not the XL, it's the regular. And here is the Paramilitary 2, PM2. So it's about the same length as a PM2, but just a little bit wider profile. Up next, some other premium knives. This is, a, this is an expensive knife, uh, so and put it up against some of the others in its price class. There's a Chris Reeve Sabenza, a large, and here is a Hinderer XM18, large, skinny, actually 3.5 skinny. So you can see, this is a big knife. I don't often get this one out for size comparisons, but this is my full-size Spartan Harzy folder, which is probably the only folder in my collection that is bigger than the Leon Ma, if I'm remembering correctly. I might be wrong on that. Don't, don't quote me on that. But it's a pretty big knife. These are two full-size everyday carry knives for sure. Just for fun, here's a pair of three. Yeah, it's a big knife. Full titanium scales, uh, an M390 blade designed by Leong and produced by Riot, who have earned a reputation of just being an excellent overseas manufacturer. This thing is awesome. The action, the feel, the ergos, the detent, 
all good. I've seen some of the controversy on the latest batch of LMD knives, but I don't have any of those, so I can't really comment. You might want to look those up if you're looking at one of his newer knives. I just know that this one's really, really cool. I can definitely recommend the Field Duty 2.0. And I wholeheartedly, without reservation, recommend the REC Custom Shop for customizing and making your old EDC gear new again. As of the release of this video, their books are currently closed on Cerakote jobs, but you can inquire uh, about simple, solid color changes that will fluctuate with time and availability. They're definitely staying booked up, very busy down there these days. However, the vapor honing, bead blasting, and the glass blasting services are currently open. And uh, so if you have a scratched up knife, you can contact them for a professional refresh of your gear and they'll do a great job. A word for those of you who love Lord of the Rings like I do. I settled on this iconic image, both because of my love for the books and the movies and also because of my love for fellowship in reality. And uh, I love and cherish my friends, my family, and my fellowship of believers as well. And I know uh, very intimately and personally that I would not be able to do life and move and create and breathe and do all the things I like to do without those communities in my life. Fellowship is vital. It is not good for man to be alone. Man, getting into some deep stuff here. I hope that you have enjoyed checking out this ridiculously awesome custom knife project. Thank you, Rivers Edge Cutlery and Eric for this fantastic work. Thank you all for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one.